Hey guys, it's Rahi here, and you all wanted a tutorial on how I make my smooth rotation sunburn. So here I am. So first, you need to make a project. After making your project, you can um, time your map and uh, trickster your clips. Um, but in order to trickster your clips, you will need to um, convert your clips at this uh, FPS changer the option right here we are not going to do anything with that right now um, so in order to make a smooth rotation you have to uh, go to the clips transform and um, click scale and select a scale keyframe right at the um, not so end um, right here and um, one at the start and one at the back yeah now what we'll need to do is um, go to the middle keyframe and delete 110 I mostly recommend this then what we'll need to do is go to the back keyframe and um, select 50 and um, then you will need to set your graph. You can copy my graph right here. Yeah, just like that. And um, for the back two key frames, you can use this graph. Yeah. For the main rotation part, you have to go to rotate and add a keyframe right at the middle like the scale one and um, select a keyframe at the start and at the back and for the start one you will have to um, set this as 3 or 4 wherever you like it and um, take the middle part and um, select it as 3 and um, for the back keyframe you will have to um, uh, set it as 3 or 4 after doing that we will need to set the graphs um, you can copy mine right here the back two keyframes you will need to set this graph as you can see it's it's looking nice it's not done yet um, in order to make this more smooth um, you need to go to effects click add and go to move and transfer and add motion tile after adding motion tile, you will need to select the clip and add motion blur. You can add any type of motion blur. I personally recommend 360 because, um, in my opinion, the more motion blur, the more um, beautiful your video gets. So, for this video to not get laggy, I'm going to just select 90. Or 180 yeah that's enough so for the next part you want to um, uh, do the exact same thing but a little different I'm going to set a keyframe at the middle at the start and also at the back for the scale one then I'm going to um, set the front keyframe value as um, 200 because you see this is zoomed out and this will be zoomed in or what do you call it was this is zoomed in and this is zoomed out as you can see yeah and um, at the back keyframe you will you can um, 
said the value as 200 or 50 it depends on how you like it I'm just going to do 50 there and I'm going to um, select the graphs you can copy my graph and for the back two V frames this yeah and for the rotation part add a keyframe at the middle at the start and at the back and we will need to see where the last clip's rotation is going you see it's going that way so we will have to um do uh this yeah we have to align it so it looks more smooth that way you see and select the back keyframe as minus four minus three to three to minus four now it's time to set the graphs for the first two keyframes i'm going to select this graph again you can copy my graphs and that and boom for the scaling and rotate it's done i'm just going to add a motion tile effect and some motion work as you can see it's looking pretty neat so for the third clip i'm just going to do the same exact thing just middle and start and at the back i'm going to um add the start keyframe and uh, set the start keyframe value as 200 and um set the back keyframe value as 200 to 200 and it should look like this now it's time for us to set the graphs i'm going to use this graph again and this graph again and then going to the rotate section set it set a keyframe at the middle at the start and at the back now we're going to see where the last clips rotation is going so it's going that way so i'm going to um do this set the middle came value as minus three and the back keyframe value as four so the back and for the first two keyframes the graph is going to be this just going to add motion tile and motion blur yeah it looks something like this I'm going to pre-render these three clips just for you guys to see what it will look like I'm going to adjust the motion blur to 360 because to give you guys a vision on how it will look like yeah after after preventing your clip it should look like this you see it looks pretty neat if you want to do more um you can add a little turbulence displace if you want but that will not be the tutorial for today I'm going to let you all know how you can use turbulence displacement um, I will I will um, host a poll after I'm going after releasing this video so stay tuned I guess and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and um, Please subscribe and like and you know I never ask for subscribes and stuff and uh, have a nice day.